Hi, this is Michael Malpack. Thanks for uh, watching today. Um, I'm going to be replacing the ashtray on the center of my Jeep um, to a USB port. I have a 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ and I didn't want the ashtray anymore and I wanted to add some sort of uh, device plug-in areas for the back seat um, passengers of my Jeep. So anyway, um, thanks for uh, watching again and also um, I'm going to post a link to the bracket if you guys want to purchase one of those that'd be great and then also um, the uh, USB port that I used I just bought from Amazon um, you, I could add that link as well uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel and then comment below if you have any comments so here's the bracket that I'm going to be installing instead of the ashtray holder first I'm going to drill four holes so um, the screws can be installed and so I'm going to be installing the screws through the USB bracket into the bracket um, that's going to cover up the hole for the ashtray holder and then that's going to those screws are going to go into the plastic of the car So I screwed in the uh, two screws at the one side, um, obviously pre-drilling before I did that. And so I got those in place and then I s drilled a hole for the other two screw areas and um, installed those. I'm trying to do this in a way where I don't have to cut the actual plastic for the ashtray holder. And then I'm going to label it where I want it at the top. And then I take out the old ashtray and then this is kind of what it looks like before you screw it in. And then um, I would recommend um, taking a, a drill bit and drilling a, the first hole there and then screwing in the um, screw. It was kind of a, a weird fit kind of deal going on there. And what's cool about this one is that um, after, for some reason, if you want to remove this and install the ashtray back, there's really not a lot of damage done to the actual plastic. So um, after this is installed, I need to hook up all the wiring. And so I chose that um, the USB side will turn on and off um, when the auxiliary powder power is turned on onto the vehicle. And then um, when this vehicle is off, then it's off as well. But then the, um, I guess the cigarette lighter side, I'm not sure what to call it. Um, when that one, that one's going to be on all the time, so I'm going to have constant power to it. Well, 
right? So there's the USB drive or the USB side, and then uh, just doing the final um, tightening of the back side to make sure they stay in there appropriately. And then this is the final product. Turned out pretty nicely. And then there's the back side. There's all the wires like I'm going to connect. And once they're connected, then the backseat people can <coughs> hook up their devices. Thanks so much for uh, viewing today. I hope that um, your projects went well, and maybe this will give you an idea of how to add power to the back seat. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and then also uh, share this video with others, and have a great day.